while she's one of the best in the women's game now and historically, Valentina Shevchenko, she's already got a UFC Flyweight Championship to her credit, and she will look to bolster her legacy yet again here tonight. Not only is she one of the best, she's one of the nastiest. Who has a gun tattoo on the side of their <laughs> hip? And she goes out there and she's got that thing loaded. That gun to me symbolizes the right hand and the right kick of Valentina Shevchenko. She's diverse, she's a great counter striker. She sets traps beautifully. And if you overextend or you attack too quickly, she will finish you on the feet and she can also finish you on the ground. Just a phenomenal mixed martial artist is Valentina Shevchenko. And if she gets a first round knockout tonight, DC has agreed to get that gun tattooed on his midsection. <laughs> it, won't right? show, it won't show under the back. <laughs> to the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Guess who we see first? Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed U.S. Women's bantamweight champion of the world, Manon the Beast Pion! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. You ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go with round one. A special feeling in the air as Valentina Shevchenko gets back on the proven ground here tonight. She has said, and I quote, this opponent gives me the perfect canvas upon which to paint a masterpiece. What does that mean exactly? I kind of feel like Valentina Shevchenko might be highlight chasing here tonight. We'll see how she approaches the early portions of this fight. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Fuel. There's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that. When she is this, free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. She connects with the jab. She's got the single call at time. Ooh! Big knee. Nice. Nicely done. 
just out of range with that left hook. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Takedown defense holds up. And now some separation between the two athletes. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Big, straight left. there for good measure. Oh! Oh, she's in a world of trouble now. Lands a big elbow there. Huge left hand. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her. But now you see it, the game plan. Everything's clear now. And we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down the finish. Oh, what a kick. Oh. She's starting to put together some significant body work here. And these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Shevchenko's side is closing up. Never seen anything like this, J.A. How in the world are these two women still standing? Fjord gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Oh, huge knee to the head. Oh, great block there. Nice shot inside by the champion. Don't stop, don't stop. What a shot by her there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Nice level change. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Shevchenko. Man, she has done her homework. Another ground strike gets through. Big ground and pound. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And that one certainly found the target. Well, she has there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, nice level change. Outstanding back and forth first round. All right, well, some thought maybe we wouldn't get here, but there's the horn signifying the end of the round. She had her opponent rocked at one point, wasn't able to finish. Got to think she'll be looking to do just that in the next round. She's going to be looking to finish this fight. She has to, right? She has her opponent hurt. Even as her opponent walked back to the corner, she still looked like she was on shaky legs. So if she takes her time, goes and finds a kill shot, she will be able to end this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Oh, she lands another strike to the body. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Shevchenko's cut above the eye. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into the fight. It will be on her once again, land on those three punches to try to knock her out. Oh, so you want 
to be a fighter. Back and forth we go between two of the best women in the world. Oh, big left hand. You got to go. Oh, my goodness. All right, so she lands again to the body and seemed like maybe a winch from her opponent there. Those are starting to pile up. Yeah, the winch will turn into big emotional reactions yeah. if she continues to take these shots. She's got to do something different, man. She's got to do something that will tell her opponent that these will not land anymore. Oh, beautiful slip by her there. She seems to have this acute awareness of not... What a strike by her there. I can knock out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's not going to bite, Tom. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Oh, huge ground strikes. Shevchenko's in half court. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker, and man, has she had it going, really, from the opening bell. From the start of the fight, you can see that she was different tonight. You can see that she was going to lean on the cardio, set a high pace, and hope that her opponent could not keep up. But not only is she fighting hard, she is landing just about everything that she throws. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both <laughs> Her opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Back to the feet. Well, she's landed those hooks at a high clip here tonight. Actually, some fans are starting to call her Mrs. Lineker. I think it's a pretty good nickname. Oh, it's a great nickname because they fight in the same style. She's very heavy-footed because she wants to get everything into that left hook, right hook, body hook, head hook. No matter where, she is just throwing those big digging punches all over her opponent's body. Oh, nice takedown. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landing. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Beautiful transition. Oh, that shot cut her open. It landed perfectly. You know, sometimes it's not the one, it's not the biggest shot, the biggest punch that opens you up. It's just something that lands in the right spot, and that one did exactly that. Just gotta be careful here. Fjord's back in full guard now. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Valentina Shevchenko. She's as good a ground striker as there is in this division. Landed another one there. Huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down to get another one off to finish the fight. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Oh, uh, big elbow. An uppercut landed. All right, so she attacks the body yet again, and now you really see those bruises, Daniel, starting to accumulate. Well, she did everything to do that, and she was able to stay the oh. She's in a ton of trouble here. Big right hand. Seconds winding down in round two. Level change there, goes for the takedown. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket. She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come.
Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Her best strike of the fight. Her best strike in this weight class. If she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, nice job. Oh, another one. She's hurt bad, John. Try to establish that jab. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cup is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. Fighter blocks a punch. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Defense holds up. She gets space and gets some separation. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown deal? Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here. Oh, she's hurt. Big right hand there. Oh, with authority, the body. Now we're going. So far, a frantic pace as expected. Shevchenko goes in for the takedown now, and she gets it. Wise move from the fighter there, because she was getting tagged on the feet. That's a powerful strike for bottom position. Using a lot of good movement. All right, so another nice sequence for her there. You've talked a lot about her fight IQ, but this is pretty simple, right? You batter your opponent upstairs and stay with it. She did it early. She was able to get to her spots, land the shots that she wanted to land. Her opponent did nothing to change it, and now she finds herself in a comfortable position where she has to just keep targeting the face that is so swollen right now. Fjord gets up and is back on her feet. Her opponent from finishing it. Oh, no. Just out of range with the big right hand. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Now, switch he lands the body. Oh. 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 of trouble right now. Oh. Again. oh, another ground strike gets through. her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a choke. Shevchenko's eye does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut, so that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. Attempting a choke now. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Fjord gets back up. Man, she is just relentless. Unbelievable. Oh, that's good. Oh, my goodness. 
What a turn of events here inside this arena. An absolutely crazy flush knockout, and there's going to be no wiping that smile off her face tonight. She's going to be smiling all the way to the bank after a knockout like that. What a performance. What a knockout. Unbelievable. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. The Bantamweight Queen retains her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job.